Nothing can prepare you for your first sight of the magnificent Himalaya, the highest and most spectacular mountain range in the world. To summit Mount Everest and stand on the roof of the world has been the dream of great mountaineers for over a hundred years. Walk in their footsteps with the life-changing trek to Everest Base Camp. An experience that you will never forget. The Base Camp trek is for serious trekkers and those after a memorable challenge. It's just an iconic thing to do. I just want to see if I can make it. M making it there would be just a fantastic feeling and um, yeah, being able to say that you've, you've achieved that. I've been reading about Everest almost since I could read. It's something that fascinates me and excites me. And I, the chance to come and see this part of the world was just too big a chance to, to miss, too big a chance to, to pass up. And to be here is just beyond my wildest dream. Nepal, the birthplace of Buddha and home to the Yak and the Yeti. Your adventure starts in intoxicating Kathmandu, a vibrant city where ancient and modern sit side by side. Staying in a comfortable hotel, you'll enjoy your own private paradise in the heart of the city. From here, a walking tour helps you discover the incredible cultural and artistic heritage of Kathmandu with its fairy tale palaces, ancient temples and monuments. Close by Tamil in central Kathmandu is a shopper's paradise. Everything from trekking gear to beautiful handicrafts and carpets. Colourful markets line the streets and the hidden courtyards seem unchanged since medieval times. Then take off and leave the modern world behind with a spectacular flight into the heart of the Himalaya, culminating in an exhilarating landing on the airstrip at Lukla, gateway to the Kumbu region. Here you are met by one of our experienced Sherpa leaders, who all have knowledge and passion for the Everest region. Several are even Everest summiteers. Mountain Kingdoms takes an unusual route through the heart of Sherpa country, carefully designed to provide excellent acclimatization. Walking on average six to eight hours a day at a comfortable pace for 14 days, with two days set aside for rest and relaxation and more acclimatization. You follow good trails, but a sturdy pair of walking boots is essential. Each day you walk carrying only a light day pack with daily essentials. Your main baggage is carried by yaks or porters. At altitude, it is best to walk at a slow, steady pace, and there is plenty of opportunity to rest, take photos, and enjoy drink and snack stops along the way. You stay in the best tea houses available at each overnight stop on the Mountain Kingdom's route. This provides a great opportunity to get to know your fellow trackers, and a maximum group size of 12 ensures great camaraderie. Mountain Kingdoms provides a toasty four-season sleeping bag and liner, a hot water bottle and solar showers. Hot water is also provided daily for washing. All meals, supplementary snacks, hot drinks and drinking water are included. Food is hearty, delicious and freshly cooked by the local villagers at each tea house. You will be surprised by the wide choice. There is even a welcome cup of bed tea, brought to your room every morning. The perfect start to the day. There is breathtaking scenery from day one, but nothing beats the thrill of those first views of Everest. You also encounter the friendliness and openness of the Nepali people throughout your trek, and the welfare of local guides and porters is something that Mountain Kingdoms takes very seriously. The local Buddhist way of life can be seen all around you. 
The high point of your trek takes you to either base camp at 5,300 meters or to Kala Patar at 5,545 meters. Either route requires an early start and eight to nine hours walking there and back. Mountain Kingdoms strongly recommends the ascent of Kala Patar. From the summit of Kala Patar, there are magnificent views across to Everest and other Himalayan giants and down over where base camp is located in the climbing season. The trek back to Lukla is via an alternative route to offer fresh views. Before your flight back to Kathmandu for some well-deserved relaxation and shopping. You may also like to extend your trip with some river rafting or rhino spotting in Chitwan National Park. The irresistible lure of Nepal once is never enough. Well, the main highlight effectively has to be getting to the top of Kala Patar. Having said that, to get to the top, it, it was a big team effort. Uh, without the Sherpas, we wouldn't have done it. It would just be so close, almost seemingly within touching distance of, of Everest. It was just a dream come true. The return trek from, from Pangwash to Mongla <clears throat> was probably the best day's trekking in my entire life. Sitting in Tengmoche Monastery with all the monks doing uh, a, a service and just kind of melding in with what was happening. We always knew what was happening the next day and uh, now we were, uh, the, the care was fantastic. Absolutely brilliant, first class service. There's a reason that everyone wants to do this trek and it's not necessarily only just to see Everest, it's also about you know, challenging yourself and and uh, and coming away with something that um, yeah you'll never lose. 